Hello and welcome to day 24 of my seven week challenge to post a video every day. Today is the final part in my four part series of ways that I have reduced my spending to cut costs for my, my monthly bills. Today I'm going to talk about socializing. Now unfortunately the easiest way to reduce socializing is to not socialize because unfortunately a lot of socializing activities involve very specific events or activities that do have a set cost and a price and that you can't participate in for free. But so sometimes there, there have been a lot of things that I just haven't been able to attend over the last six months. But unfortunately there are alternatives where it is possible to actually socialize on a budget. You just have to only, it, it does give you a certain limit of what you can do, but I just wanted to share that it is absolutely possible to socialize on a budget. The first thing is if you have, or if I, for me, having gift cards, that can help a lot. I do have a, quite a bit of Tim Hortons and Starbucks gift cards, so that's something that I thought I could maybe I don't drink coffee and I can't eat donuts or anything so I could go for tea and if I'm buying tea that doesn't cost that much so those gift cards could go a really long way so that's a place that I could meet someone catch up socialize but it would be free if it's all if it fits on the gift card so that is one option another great thing about gift cards is if I want we have a couple for dinner so if my husband and I want to go out for dinner we have a couple options we might even use one of the gift cards for our anniversary coming up and we did know at the end of January we went out for one of my friends birthdays and it was all you can eat sushi so we knew that was kind of our last supper so we made sure that we ordered a lot of sushi and we enjoyed it absolutely to the max because we knew it would be a while that we would be going out for dinner again but the good news is we do have a couple options if we do want to we have some gift cards that we could use I'm pretty sure just spit. I don't know if you saw that, but I'm going to out myself because that's what I do, I suppose. The I'm I, Again, I'm looking at my cheat sheet up here just in case. I wanted to say another thing is it's possible that you can actually get away with doing those things that could have a cost and get away with not spending any money. I did go to a restaurant that was not one of my gift card restaurants and it was for... I, I knew when I was invited I knew the cost was kind of like uh, a bit of an issue, but it was for someone that I really wanted to attend. They were going to be quitting their job and it was kind of the goodbye, going away, send off party. And I wanted to go for that person, but I wasn't sure about price. So I did end up looking at the menu and the cheapest thing I saw was fries for $5. So I thought worst case scenario, I can get the fries for $5, it's something that'll fill me up. Originally I thought I could just like get a drink but I thought if I'm gonna spend money I would rather spend it on some food because <laughs> I gotta eat anyway but I don't have to my I drink water home so that's why I'm saying if I'm gonna spend money I'd rather spend on something to eat rather than something to drink now I lucked out because I had an appointment before and I got there late I got there about an hour late and it was a bit of a come-and-go thing some people ordered meals some people just had drinks so by the time I got there some people were already getting their bills and leaving so I managed to actually be there for an hour and not even spend a dime because I was sitting for a tiny bit but then I was standing a lot because people were coming to say hi slash goodbye to me as they were leaving. So I managed to still attend to the gathering and, and I had thought okay if I have to spend the $5 I'll spend it, it'll be worth it. But I managed to attend and not have to spend anything. So keep in mind that sometimes there are even loopholes when it seems like it's something that you might have to spend money. There's possible ways to spend very little or really luck out and not spend any at all. So it is possible. Another thing, and I don't know how I didn't write this on my cheat sheet, but going for walks. That is a great way to socialize. Go for a walk. You get some exercise in you get to socialize. So that is my ideal, I think, is if someone wants to go for a walk for me, that's the perfect thing. Unfortunately, I don't always know when I'm gonna go for my walks, but that's the ideal would be to walk. And now my, my, I'm gonna run out of space on my phone real quick, so I'm gonna cut it here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great night, bye.